Rabbi Sandy Eisenberg Sasso shares this story. Long ago, there lived a great rabbi, Reb Nachman of Bratslav. One day, a butcher from the town of Tiplik presented a gift to the rabbi. It was the most beautiful, exquisite chair. The rabbi loved this chair, and he sat in it every single day of his life. When Reb Nachman died, his disciples and followers kept the chair in memory of the rabbi. It was situated in a special place next to the ark of his synagogue in Ukraine, where it remained for decades until the start of World War II. When the Nazis entered Ukraine, the descendants of the, of the disciples realized that the only way to survive, the only way to escape, was to scatter. But what should they do about Reb Nachman's chair? They couldn't leave it behind. They knew it would get destroyed. They couldn't carry the chair. It was too large, too conspicuous for any of them to carry it away into the forest. So they decided to cut the chair into pieces. Each disciple took one of the pieces of the chair. As they left their synagogue for the last time, each disciple promised to meet up again in Jerusalem, and there they would reassemble the chair. Now, as you all know, this was one of the most horrible moments in Jewish history, a time where very few individuals would make it out alive. But every single person who carried a piece of that chair survived and arrived safely in Jerusalem. It was in Jerusalem that the chair was put back together. Reassembled, the chair looked exactly as it did during the time of Reb Nachman when he received that chair as a gift from the butcher of Tiplik. To this day, you can tra travel to the Bratislav Synagogue in Jerusalem and you can see Reb Nachman's chair as exactly as you'd expect it, directly next to the Ark. On this Yom Kippur, we are like the traveling disciples, each of us separated from one another, each of us on a journey back to the Promised Land, each of us with a piece of our community, waiting to put our lives back together again. There is no moment more than Yisker that we need community, that we need each other. Each year I'm honored to watch all of you as we prepare for the Yisker service. There is a milling about outside in the lobby, people chatting and catching up, gathering with old friends and meeting new ones. It is loud in the lobby while in our sanctuary there is a quietness, a peacefulness, even with a hubbub of noise floating through the doors. We might not be chatting or gossiping in the sanctuary. People might be separated around the room, quietly reflective, but there's a feeling of companionship, of closeness, just by being in each other's presence. During the period of Shiva, throughout the mourning process, and each year on Yisker, we need each other. We know that today is hard, that we are filled with sadness and mourning, but we are provided with a little bit of light and comfort because we know we have each other. Although we yearn to be together in our sanctuary for Yisker, like those disciples, we carry these pieces of the puzzles upon our hearts. We know that we are part of something greater than ourselves, that our small piece fits into a larger whole, that we are a part of a community that supports us, and that we strengthen that community just by being present. Not one piece was missing from Reb Nachman's chair, and not one piece is missing from our community, for we are all here together.